Wire on. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is going to be another tutorial on Clip Studio Paint. Um, what I wanted to do was go over uh, the selection tool and some of the ways that I use it. Now, I just pulled up a blank canvas and drew this eyeball. Um, and so I want to create another eye for the, uh, the but like a mirror image. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool here and um, you have different uh, types of tools here. You can do a square which is basically uh, drag uh, from corner to corner. Um, you have the ellipse uh, and you have a lasso which is uh, what most people use because it just lets you draw freehand or you can do the polyline which uh, uh, lets you select uh, different points and then uh, you hit enter and it'll close it up for you you also have a selection pin where you can just pretty much color whatever you want uh, to be selected and um, the clear section I'm not entirely sure what that does because it almost seems like it's doing the same thing as the um, selection pin and then the last one is the shrink selection so if I circle this it'll sh shrink the selection to whatever the the uh, the pin marks are and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the lasso that's what I use the most and I'm just going to circle this here and so this uh, lets me know that this selection here is um, selected on this layer and so I'm gonna go to my keyboard hit command C and then command V as in Victor and what you see here it created a layer one copy so it's a copy of this layer but it doesn't copy everything on this layer it only copied whatever's inside your selected uh, section here and one way you can tell that it's uh, there is by you this option here which allows you to scale but also allows you to move so if you see the little uh, cross uh, arrows there it lets you move um, your copy and remember we're in the copy layer and this is the original so if, if you uh, Hold on. Let me hit enter and then I can close the eye here and that makes layer one invisible and so there it is. Now what I wanted to do was flip it so it looks like the other eye from the other side. So we go back to the, um, the uh, this uh, scaling, scale up and scale down rotation uh, selection here and you have this button here and that mirrors um, your image and now you can move it wherever you want hit enter and then this option here is to deselect and that removes your selection now once you have that and you have it that's exactly where you want it and that's how you want it placed what you can do is come here and combine the layers so now both of these uh, eyes are on the same layer so and they're on the same layer that's one way I use the uh, lasso tool to copy and paste um, another way I use the lasso tool is um, I select an area that I want a specific color so I also want this side um, to be like this side so I'm gonna hold down the shift button and that puts a little plus sign on my lasso which means I can add more selections onto my layer and now these two sections are um, are selected on this this layer so now what I'm going to do is create a new layer so now it's layer 2 and what I'm going to do is come here to this this uh, gradient uh, right here 
and this has uh, foreground to transparent foreground being this color here and it can, it's going to go to whatever transparent um, so whatever color your paper is it's what the color is going to be so and this uh, selection here means it's going to be uh, a linear uh, gradient whereas this is more of a, a circular and this is more of an ellipse and so what you do is you hold down your stylus or your mouse whatever you're using and you bring it down and you'll see that it went across everything that's selected but it didn't affect the outside um, let's do that again um, so this line represents how the gradient is going to go so uh, mostly dark and then the transparency was way down here so I'm going to do the undo and if you do it just slightly see it's a lot dark and very transparent um, if you do it from up here and if you stop here like midway uh, most of the dark was up here and then it got transparent here and then everything down here was very transparent so that's one way I I do shading on some of my artwork uh, and then once you hit deselect you can see um, how that works out there and because I put it on a different layer it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect so I keep my shading and my line art on two separate layers um, yeah that was just a real quick uh, tutorial on how um, how I use um, the, the lasso tool or the selection tool uh, to uh, copy paste mirror images or, uh, that I want or when I select um, certain areas that I want shaded and then I use the gradient and it gives me that nice uh, gradient shading um, so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you get something out of it um, if you liked it please consider giving the video a thumbs up and they're free you know you can give all the thumbs well you can only give one thumbs up <laughs> you can certainly create multiple accounts and, cre and give me all the thumbs up you want but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to twist your arm on that um, but yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.